takes a lot of work for a video you shoot to go from here to here. Here's my process for video editing and post-production on a video. First, I make two duplicate backups of all the footage. Right now I use reliable but inexpensive three to five terabyte external hard drives from Western Digital. For my previous drives, I had been using an app like Kaleidoscope to make sure each hard drive was exactly the same. But for my newer drives, I'm using a RAID 1 configuration, which I set up through Mac OS X's built-in disk utility app on the two identical drives. On these drives, I use the same folder structure for all my projects. There are specific folders for the Premiere and Pluralize projects, the raw video and audio files, graphics, music, photos, and the final exported videos. Next, if I have multiple camera angles, I bring all my video and audio files into an app from Red Giant called Pluralize, which helps me sync them all together. Then you can export the synced sequence into Final Cut Pro 10 or Adobe Premiere. Once in your video editing program of choice, I import the pluralized sequences, open them, and create multi-cam tracks. This allows me to switch multi-cam angles using the number keys. Next, I focus on getting a first draft of the narrative for the video. This means going through the A-roll or parts of the video that someone is talking on screen. I call this first assembly, where you find the best takes from the script, pull out the best quotes from the interviews, and craft the story you want the video to tell, and create markers with what is being said. Next, I go through the B-roll to find all the best shots to use, select in and out points, and add them to a new sequence. Next, I can pull up both sequences at once and copy B-roll to the main sequences to better tell the narrative of the video. Once the rough cut is complete, I send it to the client or around internally within my team for story review. After this is complete, we have picture lock. Next comes sound. We tweak all of the dialogue audio levels, add in sound effects, and choose appropriate music throughout. I'll do this once through wearing my Sony MDR7506 headphones, and then again listening through my Mackie MR5 monitor speakers. I get some of my music from freemusicarchive.org, but if I need licensed music, I go to Marmoset or the music bed. Next comes graphics. Any lower thirds or intro and outro bumpers are either created directly in Premiere or externally in After Effects or Photoshop. After the graphics, the final step before exporting is to color correct and color grade. Correcting is the act of making the footage look like it should have while you were recording. I apply lookup tables, fix exposure and contrast, adjust white balance, etc. Grading is applying an effect to a shot, maybe making it have a specific film look, for example. For most of my work, I do very little stylized grading, as I just want it to look realistic. Not all green like the Matrix or orange and blue like the Transformers. Okay, almost done. I then watch the video one final time through at full screen. Then, export it with different settings depending on where the video is going. YouTube, iTunes, Wistia, Whipster, etc. Once the video is done exporting, you can then upload it to the web. It will be processed to stream at multiple resolutions and then it is ready to be watched. You can add subtitles, a thumbnail image, proper title and description, and it's ready to share with the world. Sure, you can just record a selfie video on your phone and upload it directly without editing, but most videos are really made in the edit. Create a process checklist that you go through for every video you make, follow it step by step, and keep cranking out videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Over the next couple months, I'll be sharing more detailed tutorials about each of the stages I breezed through in this video. So if you want to learn how I edit my videos, stay tuned. And remember, if you're going to do it, might as well do it on video.